weekend. First tonight, people who don't care what mess they make or how much damage they do to other people's property. A Perth bus company sick of paying a fortune to clean up after filthy vandals. To prove just how bad it's become, they cleaned up a few buses and installed cameras. What those cameras caught is remarkable. Mark Gibson reports. <laughs> They go out in the afternoons, you know, give it two or three hours, and they're just trashed. Is this just a standard rubbish on a bus then? Yeah, this is this a standard is, week. Is, welcome to cleaning a bus. Welcome to our world. You wouldn't believe the filth that passengers leave behind on buses. In amongst this somewhere is a bright orange condom. I guess it never ceases to amaze you now. It doesn't. You find you Something find new knickers. All the time. You find shorts, shoes, there's shoes in here somewhere. 14 garbage bags, just one week's worth of rubbish at the Rockingham Depot alone. All of it disgusting, some of it dangerous. You get blades. Razor blades. And screwdrivers. We've got syringes. It's Sandy and Julie's job to clean up the mess day after day. There's days where you get on and you know they've vomited up the back. Oh, oh you're flying down. No, don't want to do this bus. And then there's graffiti. They've used sandpaper, they use bottle tops, they use pliers, just anything that will leave some sort of um, mark or tag, as they like to call it, on the window. Rockingham bus station boss Peter Bale conducted an experiment. Cleaners went to work on four buses, making them sparkle like they'd just left the showroom. Almost $20,000 was spent replacing the film on all the windows. So you've just spent all that, and what do you expect is going to happen to these buses? Ah, uh, they'll end up back the way they were before. There's no doubt about that. Sadly, he was right. So, Peter, here we are a week later, and what do we find? Uh, well, Mark, um, unfortunately, pretty well what we expected. So you can see here on the windows, the tagging, back of the seats, tagging. In just one week, almost every seat has been tagged. Those new windows have been scratched to pieces. A lot of this is habitual. It's the same people day in, day out. They can't either get on the bus, they can't help themselves. Here's something the vandals didn't count on. We've got the footage that catches them in the act. Brand new bus, three hours, graffiti scratched. This boy gets on the bus, heads for the back seat and gets straight to work, using a black texter to leave his dirty mark all over the floor. When he gets off, you can see the mess he's left behind. They wouldn't like me to go in their home and do it. I guarantee they'd hate it if I did it for their brand new car. What gives them the right to do it to a brand new bus? This time it's a double act. The girl uses something sharp to scratch the back of the seat. The boy in the tracksuit covers for her by sitting in front while she gets stuck into the windows, those brand new windows that cost thousands to replace. They've scratched the windows, they've graffitied, they've scratched the back of the seat, so put graffiti up on the bulkhead. Watch closely as these little angels pass a rock from one girl to another. The one on the left vandalises the window before throwing the rock back to her friend who gets to work on a seat then she damages a window for good measure as well police want your help to catch the boy with the texter the window scratcher and her accomplice and the girls with the rock who destroy everything in sight so what would you like to say to people who know the people who did this oh we'd hope that the dog men let us know who they are because it's not acceptable you might know these three thugs too. Armed with a metal bar and a hammer, they smash up three school buses at Seaton Catholic College in Sampson, causing $30,000 damage. Sorry, that smells. Back at the depot, Sandy and Julie know that when they've cleaned up this bus, within hours, it'll be filthy again. I suppose the upside is it keeps you in a job. Well, look, yeah, yeah but... but we'd still have a job just sweeping normal dirt out of a bus, which you can't help but bring on board. They don't have to add to it by all the other no. rubbish they bring on board. If you have any information about those vandals, call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Check our website for details.